Yeah, it's jacked up. Okay, so here we are on this Friday. And my blue F-150 has picked up a vibration. So, I suspect it is in the universal joints. So we are going to crawl underneath and take a look. And I jacked the wheels up so we can get a closer look. Okay, so we are here on the front drive shaft. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a twist. Oh yeah, you can probably see it. There is a little bit of free play movement in this front shaft, in this front universal joint. I think specification, if there's like 100 thousandths of movement, then the universal joint's bad. And there's more than that. Of course, that bushing inside that tail shaft housing could be a little war, too. But yeah, that universal joint definitely needs replaced. I could probably grease it and have it tighten it up a little bit, but at this point it's not going to do a whole lot. I don't know how many miles are on it. I replaced these universal joints in 2011. I don't remember if I made a video or not. But yeah, the uh, there's a bushing inside the tail shaft housing. Uh, they get a little wear on them too. But I don't think it's really going to be a source of the vibration as much as it is that universal joint anyway. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the back one. And there is not any movement at all coming from the back one. Yeah, there is a little slack in the differential. It's always had that. I've had the truck since 04 and had 115,000 miles on it and it had it then. Okay, so that universal joint is tight. I'm gonna roll this around and Put a little bit of grease in it. I'm not going to grease the front one. I'm just going to change it anyway. So, what's the use? Oh, yeah, a little follow up to my car shopping video, the uh, Focus RS. Uh, I went and got a quote from the insurance today. And I always tell everyone. It always pays to have a good driving record and good credit. Well, that one was dry. Uh, because that particular model, oh, there we go. It squirts out now. Uh, would make my insurance go up $6 a month. I thought that was pretty good myself. And some of you who are saying, you know, you look like a Mustang kind of guy. Well, you know, Mustangs are cool. But the thing is, is I use the four-door vehicles, for, you know, for being a photographer and all. You know, I throw all my, you know, gear in the back of it. Or, you know, might carry extra people or something. And kind of, you know, having a two-door vehicle sometimes kind of makes things a hindrance. So, yeah, I'm just not going to go with a Mustang. Yeah, good suggestion though. Like I said, I do like them. They are cool, but it just would not work well for me. Yeah, you can see a little bit of grease in there now. I did look at all the tires to make sure that there wasn't any 
knots or bulges in them. They all look good anyway. I got a little bit of crack cracking in them, but it's getting where all tires do that anymore. Okay, so about it for tonight anyway. Let's take one more look at this other tire over here. Yeah, that one looks good too. A little bit of slack. It's always had that. Okay, so I'm gonna set it down. And while I'm out in the morning, I'll swing by the parts store and I'll get a universal joint for it. TGIF. Thanks for watching.